Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations in our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Back in the days of ice houses, not ice houses as in fishing, but houses that stored ice, there was a community that had an ice house and they were in the process of storing ice from the river for the summer months. It was an arduous task, placing the ice in its proper place and then covering it with sawdust. Well, when they had finished the task, one of the workers realized that his gold pocket watch was lost in the sawdust somewhere and a frantic search took place. After many hours of searching, the workers couldn't find the watch. Well, news of this reached a small boy, and he asked if he could look for the missing watch. The workers decided that they would give this boy a chance. The boy entered the ice house, closed the door, and ten minutes later emerged from the ice house with the gold watch. He was asked how he found it, and the boy responded, Well, when the door was closed, I sat on the floor and I listened for the watch. We can learn a lot from that young boy. For we're gathered together today to listen to God's word. We as a congregation are united in God's holy word. And as we continue in our faith journey, we will find that unity seems to be lacking at times in the church. But even while unity here on this earth is lacking at times, you can take the heart that in the church triumphant, that there is a unity that is in God's holy word and in Christ. We spent quite a deal of time hearing from the book of Revelation over these past weeks. And one thing that really stuck out for me was the mentioning of the walls that surrounds heaven. As it is pictured, especially in Revelation chapter 22 today, that wall is a source of protection for those in heaven, and it also keeps out all that is unpleasing to God, namely sin. You see, while we're on this side of heaven, it's important that we devote time to being in God's Word. For it's in God's Word that we learn about Jesus and what Jesus did for us through His death and resurrection. That is unity. In our reading, We're reading about unity. For those who are in heaven are united through Christ. And we find out about unity through being in God's Word, the Holy Bible. There was once a Baptist preacher that preached a powerful sermon against the evil of liquor. He told his congregation that if he had all the beer in the world, that he would dump it all in the river. And then he told his congregation that if he had all the whiskey in the world, he would dump that too in the river. And then he told his congregation that if he had all the wine in the world, that he would also dump that too in the river. It was a pretty powerful sermon for those who were listening. But when he was finished, the song leader then announced with a grin, our closing song is Let Us Gather at the River. Well, now, of course, that's not the real meaning of that song. But the beginning words of our text, for the river mentioned in our text is the river of the water of life that is flowing from the throne of God. Truly, we shall gather at the river, for we'll be united in heaven with Christ. But the question can be asked, how does one get to heaven? The world will tell you that one gets to heaven by just being a good person. The world will tell you that all religions, well, they all just lead to the same place. The world will tell you that there's only, that saying that there's only one way to salvation, well, that's intolerance. Well, I guess that we'll just have to be labeled as being intolerant. For we are united in the word of God. And God's word tells us that the only way to heaven is through faith in Jesus Christ. That's it. It's so simple. 
too, but to many, we're being stuck up. We're thumbing our noses at others. We're just being plain intolerant. Well, as you leave this place, remember that you are united in the Word of, Christ, of God. It's only through the Word of God that you learn about Jesus and who Jesus really is and what Jesus did for you. Never forget that. Be in the Word. You see, there's a sad reality in our world. There are many who don't have faith in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And our text tells us that they'll be outside of heaven. And that's something that we don't want and God doesn't want as well. You see, we all need to remember that as we leave this place that we're missionaries going out into a world that is darkened by sin and unbelief. It's our duty to share Christ with all that we meet. Christ is the light. We all as believers in Jesus Christ carry that light with us wherever we go. It's ours. But not to hide under a bushel, but to share with all that we meet. Let us all remember the reason that we gather together regularly. We gather together for worship, to give thanks to God, and to receive His gifts, the means of grace. Yes, we're all sinners and deserve nothing but the fire of hell. But even while we're sinners, God's love for us was outpoured for us on the cross through the blood of Jesus. We have that blessed gift of forgiveness, that light of Jesus Christ within us. And we need to be sharing that gift with all that we meet. Let us encourage each other to remain united in the Word of God. And let us encourage all that we meet to be united to the Word of God. For through the Word of God, we confess Christ as the only way to salvation, for He is the light of the world. Let that light especially shine from us this Mother's Day as we give thanks for the gift of our mothers. And may we share the love of Christ to all that we meet. Amen. And may the peace of God who surpasses all understanding keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus to life everlasting. Amen.